You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. It's time for us to stand together in goodness to revolt against the evil. Welcome to the Inner Peace Movement with your host, Gloria Cliffords. Let Gloria help you explore the techniques to resolve stressful issues in your life in order to preserve personal growth and happiness. Release negatives using methods that are tried and true. So please welcome the host of the Inner Peace Movement, Gloria Cliffords. Hello, everyone out there, and welcome back to the Inner Peace Revolution, coming to you live on BBM, Global Network, iHeartRadio, Apple iTunes, Spotify, etc. I'm your host, Gloria Cliffords, and today we are going to be speaking about stopping smoking. Over the past couple of weeks, I've gotten numerous texts and emails saying they made this their New Year's resolution, (laughs) but have, have not been able to keep that resolution. And I understand because I smoked for so many years (laughs) and it was horrible. You know, and we're going to talk about that more. However, right now, I want to thank all of you who have contacted me. And I want to send a special shout out to Vinny from Brazil, who got to hear me on Spotify. And if you're listening anywhere in the world, please let me know. I really want to know. So today we're going to have open lines. Feel free to call me me with your challenges, <laughs> especially if it's about smoking. And next week, we're going to be talking about fit, fitness, weight loss, etc., because that was the second most biggest challenge that people have written to me about. Please excuse me today. I'm just getting over whatever virus or flu <laughs> has been going around here in L.A., and I'm sure you know a lot of people, wherever you are, who have not been that well. So if my voice sounds strange or I cough or sniffle, (laughs) please forgive me. Okay, so I'm very excited right now. I want to talk to you a little bit about the inner peace revolution. Uh, It's growing. This This is a grassroots movement, and more and more people are contacting me. I am putting together a list of meditators, meditation teachers, hypnotherapists, positive thinkers, any happy person who is willing to pass this on for free to any person uh, that you know who seems unhappy because We have to be happy within ourselves. That's the whole purpose of this show. And I have a list of people that are volunteering to do this. And please, you can contact me at GloriaCliffords at gmail.com with your problems, your concerns, or if you will be willing to help one other person without charge, (laughs) to uh, help them get over what it is that they need to get over in order that they may have inner peace within themselves. 
because then in turn they can spread to, to someone else. And that's the goal. It is a grassroots movement. And I guess uh, I'm one of the roots. <laughs> but if you go online and you can find so many other places where you can learn meditation for free, uh, you can experience hypnosis, hypnotherapy for free. And I encourage you to do that. Of course, you can always call me, contact me at 818-818-5040 if you want to volunteer or if you need help in any area so that you can become more peaceful inside yourself. Everyone has problems, concerns, and I'm happy to help you. Uh, call me up. Drop me a line again at Gloria Clifford's at gmail.com. Today we have open lines. And if you would like to call in, the number is one 4551 one four five one again. That's eight six six four five one one four five one. And I will be happy to be to help you with your bad habits or whatever you need. Uh, just give me a call today. Again, the main topic of this call is stopping smoking. And I can tell you as a former smoker, that was one of my biggest challenges in life. You know, the average smoker tries to stop six to nine times before they actually do it, if they do it. And it's a real challenge. It's a war. And actually takes a revolution <laughs> to stop or if you know someone who smokes please have them call in to the show or call me and I will help them uh, happily also please remember sm smoking doesn't only affect us it affects those around us and I still am very disappointed in myself that I smoked for all those years. I uh, started <laughs> with my friends because that time it was peer pressure and it still is for many young people. I think I was about 14 and one of my friends had a cousin who came for the summer. None of us smoked, <laughs> but she came and made us feel so embarrassed. She came from somewhere in the South, I believe, and she smoked, and she came in and told us, you guys are so uncool. <laughs> you know, where I live, everybody smokes. What's wrong with you? Come on, I'll teach you how. <laughs> so I would like all of you smokers to think back to the first time or second time, maybe even the third time you smoked, and remember how it felt. Uh, this is a little gross, but, you know, <laughs> I remember I was coughing so much that I actually threw up. And unfortunately, I had eaten spaghetti <laughs> before that, and it was so disgusting. At that time, I swore I would never do it again. Uh, however, <laughs> I did it again and again and again. So I want you to think about your first time. Our, our body was speaking to us. So today... Keep listening, and I will give you tips on how to stop, and later on, a great meditation to help you. So we'll be back shortly, 
and please keep tuned. This is Gloria Clifford's The Inner Peace Revolution. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it animal lover author artist and public speaker patricia daily life is a renaissance woman in her own right a lover of animals from a young age patricia lives on a farm in virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses keeping them or finding them safe havens She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daily Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Okay, everyone, we are back. And as always, I invite you to get some paper and pencil or pen to take notes. Uh, Yes, you can listen to this again because all of these shows are archived and this one will be archived within a couple of days and that will help you to listen again. Uh, Listen as many times as you can. So, uh, let's begin. First, we have to realize that This is such a battle, such a challenging thing to do. I'm not going to bore you with statistics again. I'm sure you've heard them all. I'm sure people give you dirty looks if you're smoking, (laughs) et cetera. It's funny because when I smoked, I never smelled smoke around me or on people. But since I no longer smoke, anyone comes within a few feet of me who smokes, they smell horrible. And I don't think you want that. (laughs) And I don't want you to set, and I'm sure you don't want to set a bad example for your kids, for people around you, but it is a battle. It's one of the most challenging things. Actually, it's said that smoking is more addictive than cocaine. Uh, It is a challenge. However, it's time to take your first step. So we have to prepare for this. Uh, Some people, yes, they can just give it up. Like my mom (laughs) many years ago who smoked about two packs a day decided because there was a snowstorm in New York, she just wasn't going to go out (laughs) and buy cigarettes. And she stopped. She fell back a couple of times because of different stressors. And that is something we need to notice about ourselves. What are our stressors? Are there certain times? Uh, If you've been listening, I think I've mentioned before, I had a client who was so ill. It was really hard to keep her in hypnosis because she coughed so much. But her doctor told her she must give up smoking Uh, or he's putting her on oxygen and she'll have to carry that tank around wherever she went all day and use it. Excuse me. (laughs) 
sorry. <laughs> and she, the first thing she said is, how can I stop smoking? Cigarettes are my best friend. They're with me when I'm happy and I want to celebrate. They're with me when I'm sad. They're with me when I'm angry. Any emotional trigger uh, can want to make us smoke when we're smokers. So a big part is to find something else to do. And we will talk about that more in just a minute. I uh, want to remind you, lines are open. If you'd like to call in, 866-451-1451. Again, 866-451-1451. So, these are some tips on how how to prepare to stop smoking. As very natural uh, when we are striving to stop, we eat a lot. (laughs) And uh, it's just another oral fixation. And it happens to all of us. So, I really recommend uh, before you stop, go shopping, get healthy snacks to keep in your house. Uh, uh, It's really excellent. Actually, for me, it was a continuing activity that I did. So I always have some vegetables, fruits I can munch on, (laughs) other healthy foods, uh, even now. But that will help you stop smoking and help you to not gain weight, which again, we'll be talking about more next week, because that is the second most broken resolution. So (laughs) another great thing is you have to realize our whole body is addicted. It's not just the nicotine. It's our whole body is addicted. Actually, uh, as you know, if you've been listening, I taught for 35 years before I retired and I would have a piece of chalk or a pen later on for the whiteboard between my fingers, just like a cigarette. Not only that, my stance (laughs) would be as if I were still smoking. So for me, I would kind of lean on my left foot with my left hip out a little bit, my right foot a little in front of me, and I had that cigarette in my right hand. (laughs) Of course, I I, uh, had yellow fingers and nails, which (laughs) I didn't even think about when I was a smoker, but I noticed after I stopped. Uh, how, but these are things we need to change. So be prepared. So when you have an urge to smoke a cigarette, you do something else. Number one, if there's a certain place, see chair in your home where you usually smoke, go sit somewhere else because you have an association between that place, that seat, wherever it might be, and smoking. So the minute you sit down there, you're going to want to smoke. And it's natural, and it's not your fault. It's a habit. Uh, Most of the time, unless we have a trigger that sets us off, an emotional trigger, it's just habit. And all habits are learned, and all habits can be changed. It's a battle. So you need to prepare. Uh, If you're someone like my mom and you can just stop, fantastic. But that's not true for most of us. Okay, so it's great. A lot of my, it's funny, I have several clients who bought hula hoops <laughs> so they could do that rather than smoke. So I recommend have a plan. What are you going to do to help you stop? 
change where you are. And again, you're listening to the Inner Peace Revolution live. This is Gloria Clifford coming to you from wherever <laughs> you're listening. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at SoarWithKatie.com. Patricia Fayweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline. And she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes. And she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Welcome back again, Gloria Clifford, the Inner Peace Revolution. And today we are talking about how to stop smoking. So in the last segment, I made a couple of recommendations. Uh, You have to change where you smoke. Don't sit in places or stand in places where you usually smoke. A huge challenge is, and it was for me and my clients, and I'm sure it is with you, if you have friends who smoke, co-workers who smoke, uh, they light up a cigarette, you're probably going to want one too. You might even ask someone just for a hit on a cigarette. (laughs) But especially now with all of these diseases going around, you don't want to do that and get sick. Sicker than smoking is already making you. So tell them you're stopping and just stand a little apart from all of that cigarette smoke during a break. Uh, Most smokers, whether they're in school, whether they're working, When they leave a class, and I know it was that way for me, immediately, I didn't even think about it. I would pull out out a cigarette (laughs) and light it and smoke. I didn't even realize it most of the time. So be aware of when you smoke. Write it down. Really think about this because it's not easy. It's very challenging. We have to work on it. Now, if you're smoking, you want to make it as uncomfortable as possible. So if you smoke with your right hand, use your left hand. (laughs) Believe me, you're going to feel the difference and tell yourself, I hate this. I can stop. If you use lighters, which almost everybody does these days, use matches. (laughs) They are awful and really inconvenient. So do it. You know, you may have to light several matches (laughs) before you get one, but that's fine. Uh, Another tip, which works for a lot of people, at least it helps, is don't carry a pack of cigarettes around with you. 
cut down every single day. So if you usually smoke 10 cigarettes a day, in your pack, just have nine and continue that the next day. Only have eight. This one sounds really strange, but if you carry around a straw <laughs> and cut it down to cigarette size, and it's great if you use some kind of menthol candy, if you have menthol, but breathe through that straw just as if you're smoking a cigarette. Now, people might look at you and think you're a little strange, but you know what? These days, especially depending on where you live, because it is quite cultural, uh, people look at you as if you're strange if you're smoking cigarettes. <laughs> so don't worry about the straw. It's going to help you get better and better and help you to stop. Cigarettes are so expensive these days. If you think about, about it, it takes a lot of money to smoke. And they found, especially in impoverished neighborhoods where a lot of people smoke, they're unemployed, they may not have anything to do, and they smoke a lot. They are spending so much money. It actually increases the poverty that they may be feeling wherever they live. But no matter where you are, keep a little box. I recommend a glass jar because you can hear when you're throwing money in there, especially change. So every time you think about going out, getting a pack of cigarettes, take that money and put it in that jar and praise yourself. Wow, I'm saving so much money. And when it builds up, and it will, especially if you're a heavy smoker, take that and treat yourself to something that you really would like. You might have enough to go to a movie to do something special that you don't usually do in a very short time, because depending on where you are, I know in New York now, cigarettes can be over $10 a pack, which is amazing. <laughs> it's amazingly expensive. So why waste that money on something that's making you sick? It's really hard. I want you to be aware that People say, oh, God, it's the nicotine, I'm addicted, and that's true. However, it's not just nicotine. As I said earlier, it's our whole body. So after the third day when nicotine is out of your body. Sometimes it's the fourth day or the fifth day. The nicotine is out of your body. And by the way, I forgot to say, you have to drink a lot of water. Water will help you cleanse out that nicotine. And you should start the day every day <laughs> by drinking a glass of water. It, it will help you to not smoke. It also will help if you're following some kind of diet for some reason, uh, you want to lose weight, have water first thing in the morning. It will fill you up and drink water throughout the day so you can cleanse your body. And drinking water is a healthy habit. So you are replacing smoking with a healthy habit. You have to change your lifestyle, sometimes even your friends, which is sad. But if you have friends that are discouraging you and saying, oh, come on, take a cigarette. Come on, smoke with me. It's what we do, uh, which happens often. You might have to distance yourself from them physically or encourage them to help you. And you can try to help them. 
it really peer pressure is one of these huge areas that we uh, start smoking and continue to smoke because of. So choose your friends and ask them to help you and you can help them also. What a great thing to do for someone you care about. So you are listening live. Again, you can call in at 866-451-1451. This is the Inner Peace Revolution. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern. Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Baby boomers face many challenges, and sometimes you have to reinvent yourself in order to stay on top. Sharon Ball, nurse practitioner and Christian life and wellness coach, can help. Sharon has written a book called Reinventing Yourself Today, and it can help you through the pangs of changing the course of your life. Whether you are looking to stay on track with new goals, a sensible program to help you shed unwanted pounds, or a full kick-butt life reinvention, Sharon can work with you. Follow your passions and live each day according to your dreams and free yourself from the expectations of others. Sharon comes from the heart and shares her own personal journey to reinvention with her clients. Other self-help books inspired her, but few gave her the steps to improve her life, so she created a plan that works. Stress no more. Let Sharon Ball open the door. Sign up for a complimentary life reinvention consultation today at tinyurl.com forward slash get started for free for more of what life has in store and we're back everyone uh i hope not but i'm sure a lot of you went out during the break to smoke (laughs) so i hope you're back now and you're listening to the show uh i want to remind you that smoking is often cultural And depending on where you live, it may or may not be common or accepted. Uh, When I first started to be a hypnotherapist, most of my clients wanted to stop smoking. And that was uh, 20 years ago. Now, over the last several years, fewer and fewer clients come in for that reason. They come in for other reasons. But if you live in certain places, especially in Asian countries, in certain African countries, certain European countries, when I was in Eastern Europe, I was so surprised at how many people smoke. If you're in the south of this country, the Midwest, people smoke a lot. I was very happy when I went back to visit family in New York, I am in LA, that there used to be cigarette butts all over the place, (laughs) on the sidewalks, in the streets. It is much reduced these days, they're still there. But so many fewer people are smoking now and throwing their cigarette butts on the ground. It's really ugly. In the Middle East, a lot of people are still smoking and they don't have as much pressure to quit as we do here. Now, a lot of people are listening and you've heard this before, you know about it, you know it's not good for your health and you would like to smoke but not enough to stop. 
I want you to ask yourself, why do you want to make yourself sick and possibly die from smoking? And get help with that. Again, you can always give me a call, 818-818-5040. Or contact me by email at gloriacliffers at gmail.com. And I will help help you or go online. As I said earlier, there are so many resources to help you these days. Here in L.A., at least where I live, uh, I don't see many people smoking at all these days. And the streets are clean <laughs> for the most part. Uh, very rarely will I see a cigarette but anywhere. And... The air, as polluted as it is, it smells better than when I lived in a place where a lot of people smoked. So keep that all in mind. Mostly, think about your relatives, your kids, friends, people who love you, and they want you to stop smoking. My family drove me nuts <laughs> trying to get me to stop smoking. And unfortunately, the more they did, the more stressed out I became and the more I smoked. I was meant to stop smoking and to be a hypnotherapist. I had seen many ads for hypnotherapy at this school and clinic called HMI. Uh, Hypnosis Motivation Institute, too. But I wanted a call because I was interested in hypnosis and the mind. I've been interested in the mind forever, but I never called. Uh, one day, I was driving along a main street here, and I was stopped in traffic. There had been an accident, and I was just stopped there, and I looked up. And there was the sign, HMI. So when I got to a corner, I made a turn and uh, I parked my car and I went across the street and I signed up to stop smoking. And I did. It took, for me, it took probably six sessions. Some people do it in one, two, three sessions, four uh, it took six for me, and I actually stopped after trying so many times before to quit, except when I was pregnant. I was really, uh, I had no reason <laughs> strong enough to make me quit. But we know it's unhealthy in our conscious mind, but subconsciously all habits live there. And smoking is a habit. So when someone can get to the subconscious and give us real reasons to stop. And by the way, in the next segment, we'll be doing a light meditation and hypnosis that hopefully will help you stop. We can't go into it too deeply and I don't want you to go too deep. Uh, because I cannot see you over the radio, unfortunately. It really helps when we can see our clients and how they're reacting. Uh, but I do have clients that I see on Skype. We can work on Skype. We can even work by phone. So, and give me a call. I can recommend someone to you or I can work with you happily. I will never charge you for a first session. Another thing we have to consider is the steps we take and rewarding ourselves for each and every step. So if you, if you are smoking and then you cut down by one cigarette, reward yourself. Tell yourself, that's great. I can do it. Each and every time you reduce your smoking. Another tip is you can cut your cigarettes in half. 
And we only use, usually smoke half of our cigarettes anywhere. They sit somewhere and burn in our hands or an ashtray. Cut them in half and you will stop more quickly and easily. So please stay tuned. In the next segment, we will actually be doing some light hypnosis meditation that could easily help you stop. Some of you, some of you may need more, but call your friends <laughs> who smoke and tell them to tune in. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Welcome back, everyone, and this is Gloria Clifford, your host of the Inner Peace Revolution. At this time, I'm going to ask if you are driving or working with any machinery that could hurt you, please pull over because we're going to relax and do some brief meditation, and you shouldn't be driving. If you're at home, find a place to sit where you don't usually smoke <laughs> and keep your feet on the ground, sit up straight, or you can lie down, whatever you prefer to do. And we are going to begin now. So please take a deep breath. And tell yourself, relax now. And as you exhale, imagine all of that disgusting gray black smoke leaving your body. And let's do that again. Inhale. Tell yourself, relaxing now, because you're already now in that process of relaxing and exhale even more of that tar nicotine leaving your body in a puff of dark, disgusting smoke. And again, this time, as you inhale, imagine you're inhaling a wonderful light of any color you choose, but this is a cleansing light that's about to cleanse your lungs and your body 
of all of this disgusting, addictive smoke, which you will exhale now. And just breathe regularly and continue to relax. And I would like you to imagine you are in a beautiful white kitchen. Everything is white. All the doors and windows are closed. And in that kitchen are lined up every cigarette you have ever smoked in your life. It could be thousands. It could be more. And suddenly they all begin to burn. And the smoke smells really tough and bad. Remember, there are thousands of burning cigarettes around you. And you can see that yellow, brown, tar, and nicotine on the walls of this beautiful white kitchen. And it's dripping down, and just looking at it makes you sick. It's so disgusting, and think that was in your body. It is in your body. And you will do everything you can to get rid of that nasty habit and cleanse yourself. Now, that beautiful, white, clean kitchen is filled with smoke. And the smoke gets heavier and heavier and heavier to where you can barely breathe and you want to get out of there. But there's no way out as that smoke continues to build up from the thousands of cigarettes that you've smoked over a lifetime. You feel horrible. You want to get out of that room. Your eyes are burning. Everything you're wearing is filled with that disgusting smoke. You just want to escape. But you think you can't. You think you can't. But soon you notice a bit of light through that dark, horrible smoke that has filled that kitchen and the tar and nicotine dripping off the walls and now even the ceilings dripping down on you. But you see this glimmer of hope, a little bit of light coming through someplace, maybe a window, maybe the bottom of a door. And you can't see because of all that disgusting smoke, but you just want to get out of there and you're coughing. <laughs> you feel so awful. You just want to escape and you do your best and follow that bit of light. You're very careful not to run into things because you can't see your eyes are burning. Your throat is burning. Your nose is burning. You have to get out. And you go slowly and carefully to that bit of light on the floor. And you feel around and finally, you find a doorknob. It's locked. You can't leave and you're coughing. <laughs> Everything is burning and dripping on you. It's so disgusting. You hate it. You really want to go. But with your imagination now, imagine you are turning the lock to open that door 
and you push it open and run outside and you're still coughing and everything's burning. Your eyes are tearing. You feel awful. However, you get a breath of this fresh, clean air as if you were in a beautiful place in nature, in a garden, on the beach, in the woods where the air is fresh and clear. And you keep breathing it in. And as you do, you feel better and better with each and every breath you take. And as you exhale, all of this disgusting, horrible smoke and tar and nicotine is leaving your body. And you begin to feel better and better with each and every breath you take. Now breathe deeply, inhale that fresh air. And you notice how wonderful it is to be away from that smoke. How you feel so much healthier, so much more energetic, and so much more relaxed and proud of yourself because you have made that decision that you will stop smoking. And talk to yourself. Tell yourself, I am an ex-smoker. I am an ex-smoker. I want to live. I want to be happy. I want to be healthy. I want the people around me to be healthier and happy for me that I stop and stop and stop. Now we're counting back up. I want everyone slowly open your eyes and let's count. One, two, three, four, five. It's great to be alive. Hey, <laughs> and keep saying that through the break and we'll be back again shortly. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that meditation. Just to make sure everyone's back, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. It's great to be alive. And remember how you are extending your life when you stop. This is Gloria Clifford. You're listening to the Inner Peace Revolution. I want to remind you, to join the Inner Peace Revolution, just drop me a line at Gloria Clifford's at gmail.com or give me a call, 818-818-5040 and become a member to help to spread inner peace. If you need more help, to stop smoking or in any area of your life where you're having a challenge, give me a call. Again, 818-818-5040. I am Gloria Cliffords, 
and I'm here to help you in any way I can. So keep listening. I invite you to listen again to this in a day or two. It will be archived and online. In fact, you can listen to any of our shows that have passed already. And we will be back next week. So everyone stay healthy, happy, and please start to stop smoking. Now, those of you who are in the helping industries, meditation, hypnosis, psychology, whatever you're doing to help people, please sign up. We're asking only for you to help one person for free and teach them how to help those around them. So... Also, contact me at GloriaCliffords at gmail.com. And we really appreciate your help. We are trying to spread this worldwide, and please be part of the Inner Peace Revolution. We will be back. As always, next Friday, depending on where you are in the world. (laughs) And here in L.A., it's 3. If you're in New York, it's 6 o'clock. You figure it out. (laughs) Have a great week, everybody. This has been the Inner Peace Movement with host Gloria Cliffords. Gloria says by working together, we can overcome evil and replace it with good in the world. Please join us each week for Gloria Clifford's The Inner Peace Movement. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.